Hi everyone. So in this video, we are quite happy to introduce to you the um, new tool called the Web Report. It's been in um, making for quite a while now. It's been beta tested by a number of people and it's uh, ready to get released to the public. So the whole intention of the Web Report is to be able to very quickly make a report using the usual selling performance tools, publish it to a web and uh, share it with your team. So let's go ahead for a demo. As you can see, I've loaded up Race Replay. I've got a normal Winward Lured race. And then in order to pop things into the web, we need to use the um, tool called Sale Report, which is already available uh, for download on the web. And from there, I'm just going to create a new report. And on my first tab, it's gonna be just a summary of the day and we're gonna have two columns. Right, so here's my sales report. I can now head back to my um, race replay and start by creating a daily comments report, which is kind of a summary of the entire day. So let's go ahead and do that. So that's an Excel file. Now, once this Excel file opens, I can actually copy things from here, control C, go to my sale report and tell it that in this first summary, um, summary tab, I've got a cell which is of type HTML. I can paste what I just copied in here. Now on the next one, I would actually like to have a little uh, chart plotter online that people can play with. So in order to do that, I'm in my main uh, window here and I click on this web report to JSON charts icon. I want the entire track, I'll click OK, and I'm not gonna go through all the settings. Um, there will be more videos on um, explaining all that, but I'm just going to copy this JSON to the clipboard. And then once it's done, I can go to my sale reports, select that, say that my other tab here is going to be a JSON chart, and I'm gonna paste the constant of what I just copied in. Next up, I want also want to do a little bit of a performance analysis. So in order to do that, I need to create phases. We know how to do that. Do that pretty quick. Create some 30 second phases, maybe just while the boat was racing from the race start to the race finish. And that's done. Getting some phases, populating that. And once again, I've got a really nice shortcut in the reports menu, web reports, auto generate report tab. That's been pre-configured, so let me load the upwind one. There we go, and I told it in this tab, I wanna have an upwind VMG graph and then a couple of XY graphs applied only to upwind phases. Save, copy to clipboard. So it's doing a little bit of work preparing everything. Done, I can now go over to my sale reports and in the menu tools tabs i want to import from the clipboard um, and then i'm going back in race replay and now i want to do the same but for a downwind report so let me get my preset for my downwind report let's create that one Okay, that's done. Let me move over to my cell report and I'll import that in. Import from clipboard. Now for all of those, so first of all, you can see that we can't, it's not, everything's not super visible, but obviously you can actually zoom in, have a look at the data, which is exactly the same as you saw in Race Replay. And you could type in comments for each of those graphs you can have also general comments just for the downwind tab. So we now have those three tabs, summary, upwind, and downwind, and I'm actually ready to upload all this. So I'm going to upload report to the web. Just call it, uh, it's gonna be my new report, click OK. That is getting all pushed up to the descending performance cloud. Let's wait for it to finish. And we're done. I can just click on that link. And here's my online report. All right, here we go. It's taking a little bit of time. 
Let me go back to the initial page. So on the initial page, we have the summary of the day, the maximum boat speed that were achieved and the sailing time, active sailing. And then we even have a little chart here, which uh, means that now if you're going to share this web report with all your team, they don't need to have race replay. They can actually replay everything in here. You can even have a debrief full screen mode for that. And from here, I can, um, maybe we're gonna zoom in a little bit. Possibly let's get some nice colors in and color everything by EMG percentage. And then I can play this, accelerate a little bit. There we go, we got a little boat. You can uh, choose whatever data you want. Maybe here I want to see some heading. And then same for the graphs. Um, so you can see where it is. And there's also a cool feature that if you just want to zoom in on the start, you can actually do something like that. Even more. There you go. We're now just looking at the start here. Where's the mic through to come in later? So there you go. Uh, click escape or click on this button to get out. So this is our first tab, the summary. Then let's go to the upwind tab. And uh, so this was created automatically for me. Starting to load up, here we go. So top left, we have the VMG graph here with the boat speed to an angle VMG percentage. That's all been pre-configured to display, uh, to, to group things by sales and also to uh, display a trend line for the day for each of the two sales, the J1B, J2B. Uh, we can, we've got, it's fully configurable. You can decide to display by tack or by race leg and color things differently. Uh, and then we've got uh, four XY graphs with true and speed in function of heel, everything upwind, uh, trim, rudder, force stay, and then we should have something similar here in the downwind. Uh, same thing, we've got um, all the graphs that we've asked for, I've added an apparent wind angle, all this is downwind um, uh, for the different sails. Now if I go back to the upwind and I would like to add comments, so I can go back at any time in the sail reports, go to the upwind here and maybe let's have a little zoom on, um, I don't know, we're downwind, sorry. Zoom on this VMG graph, and we can probably say that here J2B was performing well from 12 knots. Okay, and I think I need to probably reconnect to the cloud at this stage, uh, which is okay. Let's connect here. We're connected, and then I can just say rather than re uploading the entire report, I can just say, okay, update my comments and say, okay. And then I can click on that link again. And as you can see, while well, waiting while the graph loads, but you can see we have the comment that we just uh, added here. So there we go. These are the, uh, the famous web reports. Yeah, it's populating bit by bit. So let me show you one last little trick with these sales reports. Once you've actually created your entire report in the sales report program, you can ask it to save it as a Word document, which is what I'm going to do now. Save that as race reports. And immediately it's created this Word document. I might want to convert that to a PDF if I want to. So now I'll go back to my SIL reports, add a new tab. For file download, and this I'll call it download. And now in this report, I can actually attach documents. And let's say I created a calibration report earlier on. That's an Excel file, I can put that here. And I can also put my uh, race report, which I just made. Uh, once I publish this on the web, add modify on web, 
after the downwind tab. It's done, let's go have a look. There we go, we still have the first three tabs, but now we have a final tab where I can actually, and people who will be allowed access to view this, will be able to actually download some, some files. So if the information that you pasted in this um, report is not enough, you can actually add complementary documents to go with it. I hope you enjoyed this video as a first presentation of the web report, and don't hesitate to contact us at info at sailingperformance.com if you want more information or if you want to try this new product out. Thank you.